Hi, Adam. Uh, I'm Noel Garner from Hope Interaction. It's very nice to meet you and have a little coffee over at Nero's. Um, you are the empty homes officer at Peterborough Borough Council. City. Like... Peterborough City Council. Peter... Sorry, Peterborough <laughs> City Council. <laughs> um, just, can you just describe to me what your job entails? Adam? Yeah, um, it's basically looking into privately owned empty properties um, that have been vacant for six months or more um, and looking at getting them back into use um, whereas they've probably been unused and unloved for a number of months or years. Um, they often cause problems with antisocial behaviour, arson, um, vandalism, um, and they sort of bring down communities. So it's my role to investigate the reasons why they're empty, um, looking at what can be done to help the owners um, and supporting them through the process of getting it occupied again. So it's in the interest of the council, really, to, to get as many empty homes into, into good use, really? Yeah, definitely. Not only have you got the revenues made from council tax, uh, you've also got the revenues made from the new homes bonus, which is a government-led um, reward scheme, which gives the council about £7,000 per property um, spread over six years. Um, but you've also got the wider wider benefits, such as the effects to the community, the effects to the, the neighbours and the neighbourhoods surrounding them, um, and it encourages betterment within the neighbourhoods as well. Got you. So just give me an idea how many empty homes there are privately owned in... in, in Currently in, there in are about 380 long-term right. empty homes, um, which is six months or more. Right. Um, and there are roughly, in total, about 2,000 empty properties um, in the city um, but I only tend to look at the six months or more ones because of the main bulk of the uh, those that are empty initially for below the six months um, they're on the market and ready and waiting to be sold. That sounds like a lot of empty houses but is that par for the course would you say compared with other parts of the country? Compared to other, other cities, other cities that are comparable in size to Peterborough it's um, by far one of the, the lowest numbers. Um, you'll generally find that around 3% of any city has, 3% um, of housing stock within any city is empty. Um, and for Peterborough, it works out at about um, just under 2%, so we're doing really well here. And uh, so results-wise, you're, you're, you're on the right track? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'd say so, definitely. How do you, I mean, uh, Hope Into Action, as you know, is, is a charity that uh, tries to connect the voluntary services uh, uh, of, of local churches with housing, housing people who are homeless and disadvantaged and so on. What role do you think charities like Hope Into Action can play? Um, it works definitely within the homelessness sector um, and it, it, obviously the numbers make sense when you've got um, 2,000 empty properties and 9,000 people on the housing register. Um, the numbers stack up. You could quite easily fill those 2,000 pro properties with people that are ready and waiting to go in houses. Um, the difficulty is that with my job, I deal with predominantly private sector houses. So it's getting those onto the market and getting them sold um, and getting people, whether it's the private sector or the public sector, getting tenants into those properties um, so that they're occupied. Yeah. Um, it also, if, if you take those 2,000 properties out of the equation um, and the need for more houses to be built does save on or is building on greenfield sites yep. and encourages brown for, brownfield sites um, to be used more effectively. Mm. So really the more charities like, like ours uh, who are involved in housing um, should get in contact with you. Really. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll, we'll see how we can work together in partnership um, as best we can. Um, we're always looking at different ways and means of um, funding, so yeah. um, whether there are any reward grants available through the government, central or local, um, we're always looking at ways to, to fund um, empty homes work and work in partnership with charities or yeah. voluntary organisations to get empty properties back into use. Yeah. Well, we're looking forward to uh, hopefully working successfully with you and uh, yeah. let's hope it's fruitful. Sure it will be, actually. Sure it will. <laughs> thanks for your help. No problem. And thanks for your time.